What up, Ante? Welcome to the channel. If you're not already a part of the family, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video and you actually find it helpful, then make sure to show some love and hit that like button as well. Now, over the past couple of weeks, I have uploaded a couple of hair videos and they seem to be doing really well. You guys really seem to like them. And looking through my comments, I'm always getting comments on those videos. Comments, 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 comments. So I thought to myself, you know, what give the people what they want now if you haven't seen any of my other videos make sure to go and check them out for this video I'm gonna be doing something that has been really highly requested and that is the products that I use in my hair now surprisingly I don't use that many products I feel as though less is actually more you will get the most out of using less products so I'm just gonna talk you guys through what I use on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis. So essentially, as I wash my hair every two weeks, I redo my Bantu knots every two weeks. So I'll show you guys the products I use in that process. So in order to take down my Bantu knots, I like to, you know, coat my fingers in an oil, preferably a very thin oil as you don't want to, you know, leave thick residue on your hair. So I just like to go in with some of this almond oil. I just rub it on my fingertips and then I undo my Bantu knot and take it down and I finger comb through the Bantu knot. I don't like to use tools in my hair. I feel as though combing through the hair creates unnecessary shedding and breakage of the hair. So I do like to just go through my hair using my fingers to detangle and, you know, finger comb it and relieve my hair of any knots. So I firstly use almond oil to do that. And once that section of my hair has been taken down and is detangled, I will then begin my washing process. Also, coating your hair with a little bit of that oil is gonna help to stop your hair from getting dry during the shampooing process. Because when you shampoo your hair, it can really get rid of all your natural oil. So putting a little bit of that oil on beforehand is gonna make any washing you do less harsh on the hair. Now I will do a separate video actually showing you guys how I wash my hair physically and stuff like that and my hair care routine. However, for this video, I'm just talking about the products and so that's what I'm gonna do. So when I'm washing my hair, I use this Cream of Nature Argan Oil Shampoo. You may have seen it, you may not have, but this one is amazing. It hydrates and detangles and I can actually live by this product. I'm not sponsored, they did not like, contact me to say any of this. Literally, I just love using this product. I've used it for years. When I put it in and I start to really massage it into my hair, my hair instantly starts to feel a lot less tangled. The tangles just start to slip away and my fingers can go through it a lot more easily. So after I have, you know, really worked it into the hair and worked it through my scalp, I will then rinse it out with water. After I've washed all sections of my hair, because I do like to section my hair into uh, maybe four or five different sections and wash it individually. After that, I'll go in with the Cream of Nature Intensive Conditioning Treatment. I just place that all through my hair, through my scalp to the ends of my hair. And I sit and let it heat for 10 to 15 minutes. I literally like put on a heating cap and I just sit there and let, you know, let it do its work. After 10-15 um, minutes is over, sometimes I'll stretch it to 20, 25, I mean I don't see the harm. Maybe there is a harm, maybe there isn't, that's just what I like to do. After that I will go and wash out the rest of um, my conditioning treatment. Ends of my hair, I do go in with castor oil. I only use castor oil in the ends of my hair simply because of how thick it is and the ends of my hair need as much moisture to be locked in as possible. Because it's a very thick oil, the water that has just been hydrated into your hair, this is gonna really help to lock that in. As the ends of your hair are the oldest parts of your hair, it is gonna be most prone to breakage and you're gonna really want something to help lock in the nutrients and the moisture and all of that good stuff. So I just use my castor oil in the ends of my hair and that just helps to keep it hydrated, especially on a very windy day. While it's still damp, you want to coat your hair in some of that castor oil on the ends and really rub that almond oil into your scalp just to hold that moisture that you've just locked into your hair. The last ingredient that I use is water. I like to just keep it in this little, you know, thing because I can literally just spray it out whenever I need to. 
I usually use this in the ends of my hair. Every other day, so every two days, I'll take my Bantu knots out and I will literally spritz the end of my hair with water and then I'll go over the ends of my hair with more castor oil just to make sure it is you know kept hydrated so that it doesn't dry out the ends of my hair and the ends of anybody's hair is going to be most prone to breakage so that is where you want to make sure you are retaining length so to keep the moisture in i'll just spray it with some water and then go over that with some of my oil and then i'll tie my bantu knots back up and be on my way literally simple as however every two weeks i go through my whole my whole process of you know washing it conditioning it then putting the almond oil in my scalp putting the castor oil in the ends of my hair and yeah that's basically it but one thing i would say is that i don't like to wait for my hair to dry before i start to put the oils in if i wait for my hair to dry then the moisture's gone and then when you're putting the oils in you're putting it on dry hair also waiting for your hair to dry first may also allow your hair to tangle more whereas if you put the oils in straight away you've created more of a slippery surface so then you can move on to create whatever style you much desire i do not use any heat in my hair i will occasionally but maybe what twice a year and that will just be li a little blow dry but I don't do anything extensive. As I said already, I will be doing another video on my actual hair care routine, showing you guys how I actually wash my hair, how I actually detangle my hair and all of that good stuff. And on that note, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. I hope you've, you know, taken something away from this because I have been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of comments on my hair videos. So I thought, you know what, put it out there and see what you guys think. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to, you know, show some support and I'll see you in my next one. But never, ever, 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 ever forget, stay fresh, stay mean, stay slaying the scene. Bye, guys.